Hey everybody, Pastor Carl Brewer of Metropolitan, and you're watching Metro Morning Matter. Uh, this week we've been looking at the most awesome of events in Earth's history, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, today I want us to consider John, the 20th chapter. Uh, here in the 20th chapter of John, uh, there's multiple uh, people who come to the tomb in order to see what has happened. First, in the beginning of the chapter, there's Mary Magdalene. She comes and she sees an empty tomb and, and she's distraught, doesn't know what happened to her savior and she goes and runs and tells the disciples. Then Peter and John come running to the tomb. They see the tomb is empty and then they go back to where they were. But the Bible says when Mary comes back, she, she is so, she loves Jesus so much that she just wants to hang around the tomb where Jesus is. And she's there waiting outside that tomb where Jesus is crying, weeping because she thinks that someone has stolen his body. She then sees someone who perhaps should have looked kind of familiar to her, but, but she thinks it's the gardener. Maybe her vision is blurred because of the tears in her eyes. The Bible says, you know, she says to him, you know, if y'all have taken him, can you tell me where you took my, my master so I can go to him? And then when Jesus calls her name, she realizes it's her savior. A couple things that are so interesting about this story. First of all, Peter and John came to the tomb. Jesus hadn't gone back to heaven yet, which meant Jesus could have revealed himself to Peter and John, his closest disciples. But instead of revealing himself to them first, he first reveals himself to a woman. And not just any woman. The Bible says it was Mary Magdalene, the same woman that Jesus had cast out seven demons previously uh, from her life. Which meant this woman who was so maligned and so messed up, whose life was in shambles, it was this woman that Jesus decided to show himself to first before he showed himself to the disciples. It's amazing, the first preacher to the Christian church of a risen savior was not only a woman, but it was a woman who was so messed up, Jesus had to cast out seven demons. Don't think that you have ever strayed so far that God cannot use you. Before he used Peter, before he used John, before he used James or any other disciple, the first person he used to tell about the risen savior was Mary Magdalene. And if God can use her, surely God can use you to spread his message. God bless you.